Welcome back, True Believers, and oh my god, I am so, 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 so sorry if I misinformed you or if I tried to trick you or try and like mess with your minds or anything. I legitimately thought, 100% thought that this was real and based on things that we have seen in the past regarding uh, PSX um, and all the other information that we have gathered, it would make sense that it would be true and now all of a sudden it's not. So something messed up happened. Um, it turns out uh, that this is very embarrassing for me and I will lose about, I would say, half of the subscribers right now <laughs> and probably get a thousand dislikes, which is totally, totally okay. Even Insomniac Games themselves uh, like brought me up or mentioned me um, and that's kind of uh, amazing in itself but it's actually kind of sad and pathetic at the same time and I'm so again I did not I don't mean to trick you this channel is for 100% honesty clarity quality not yet because my video quality sucks butt munches but right now it's just about me trying to spread information to you news reports um, speculations, theories, any little tidbits we can think of the Spider-Man PS4. But right now, I am just, I apologize through the bottom of my heart. And what I'm talking about is, if you don't know, if you watched my video talking about uh, good news and bad news for Spider-Man PS4, um, turns out that the good news part, not true at all. <laughs> I am so sorry. And I, I even realize now what a total jerkweed I looked like in that video. I did not give any sources to where those reports came from. Um, but they were, for me, when I saw them, they were on Insomniac Games' Twitter page, and I will show you right now on my tablet. Um, but they were saying, they confirmed on one of their tweets, Insomniac Games themselves confirmed that they would not be at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, October 6th to October 9th. They would not be there, confirmed. That was from them. Then there was this little tweet right here that reports that we will see more footage of Spider-Man PS4 at this year's PSX event in 2016. This is on the Spidey Bugles Twitter page, but the tweet itself comes from Spider-Man underscore game at Spider-Man PS4 uh, or Spider-Man underscore game. And that was posted a while ago. That was posted a couple days ago. And um, I am just, I thought when I saw that, it was tweeted at Insomniac Games. They didn't really see anything back from it. And then there were other comments saying that that was a fake account, that that was not true. And then when I made the video, um, Shakta and other people shared it to Insomniac Games' Twitter page. And then they re responded. I'm going to try and find it right now. It's really, it made me like laugh my, my ass off because it, it, A, they even acknowledged me. I'm trying to search it right now while I'm talking in the video. Um, they acknowledged my video and on their Twitter page, which is amazing. And then I got comments from both Shakta and Slickmoff. If you don't know Slickmoff, he is an incredible YouTuber. Definitely check him out. He actually commented my video saying that this was false. Um, Slickmoff, if you're watching this, I am subscribed to you. I think you're great. If I'm, if I look like a total jerk face in there, total idiot, I am so, so, so sorry. Please forgive me. I do not mean to troll or like, like, you know, make up stuff. I don't mean to try and lie to you guys to get views or subs or any of that type of stuff. My duty as a YouTuber is not to make money, is not to make revenue, is not to make, you know, tons of millions of views and get tons of subs. I am here, and I said this in my very first video, I am here, and you can read my ch uh, channel description as well. I am 18 years old, I'm in college, I'm making videos in my spare time about Spider-Man PS4, to make the weight of the game more bearable so that way we don't go totally crazy just like trying to wait for this game to come out and actually just try and not lose our minds to have us get um, excited for the game uh, to be released. And in the meantime, that's why I've made like question videos like will this happen, Spider-Man PS4, will we see gameplay, um, you know, what villains could be in there. Th those are just like my speculation theories. When it comes to actual news reports, which we rarely get from this game, it's like, you know, like gold, like we struck gold when we get news reports. That's why the, the polishing stage, which at the time was uh, speculative, like that was like a theory that was going like it's in the polishing stage. It was confirmed like a couple like, you know, hours later by Shakta, by Insomniac Games themselves and by other YouTubers. 
YouTubers related to Spider-Man PS4, confirming that it is in the polishing stage. Same thing with the uh, release window, like the Spring Street. Like, that's a possibility that the game could come out in spring. I, like, and this, I thought it made sense. Like, again, Insomniac Games confirmed themselves that the game will not be shown during New York Comic Con of this year. Makes sense. It's a comic book convention. Even though Spider-Man games are shown at Comic Cons, you know, it wouldn't, you know, it makes more sense now um, that a fully, like a, a game developer as talented and as AAA as Insomniac Games are trying to make do with their time to focus on making the game instead of showing it at some comic book convention in New York City. Um, that is why right now they are trying to make the game as great as it can be, as awesome as it is, and again, like right here, like people, like, again, like, People on Twitter saying that, you know, we can't wait to see it at PSX. Can't wait to see some more Spider-Man uh, PS4 at PSX. Um, just theories and stuff. PlayStation experience, you know, can't wait to see it. And then they comment to, or they comment to uh, Shock Ta, who I said earlier, tweeted my video to them. And I'm trying to find it. It's really hard for me to find it um, for some reason. They tweeted, or he tweeted the video to them. They responded back saying, might want to check your sources. Um, and I feel so bad if Insomniac Games hates me, I'm going to probably cry, uh, due to like, cause like, not only do I love their company, cause Ratchet and Clank is one of my favorite video game series of all time. The fact that they, Insomniac Games, is making a Spider-Man game, dream come true. So if they are seeing me like as some sort of fraud or like some jerk face or like some idiot, I'm like, I'm going to like be so upset. Like why? Like, no, like, and I understand like me giving no sources and um, that video that I made, the good news, bad news, totally understand if that video gets a thousand dislikes. If I lose some of you guys as subscribers, if I lose you guys, it makes, I, I totally understand. I am so sorry for you. Like Shakta, Legit, Spidey Scareboy, Thomic Gaming, Spidey Beagle, all you guys, all you true believers, Thomas King, Swagman, Propane Salesman, um, um, you know, all you guys, I'm sorry I'm not re remembering all 600 30 plus of you guys every single one of you guys means the world to me i am here for you just to report news i'm not here to try and get views again i'm not trying to get like money i'm doing this just as a way to entertain you guys to inform you guys and have you stay informed of the game and right here i found it um <laughs> they say shock tell right here in Sonic games he tweeted my video to them uh, you might need to check your sources on that next time. <laughs> it's like, I feel so bad that they are, like, um, using me as, like, some idiot uh, saying stuff that isn't true. Um, and if, like, this is the first time that they're seeing me uh, in Somniac Games, if this, the, if this is the first time that you have uh, noticed me in any of, like, your social media or your videos, because I don't have a Twitter, I don't have a Facebook, I don't have an Instagram, I don't have a MySpace, Snapchat, anything like that, you know, I just said MySpace for some reason, but any social media thing, I don't have, um, and that's why the only thing I've been doing is posting YouTube videos regarding the Spider-Man PS4 to entertain you guys, to speculate, like, what's gonna happen, are we gonna see it at this, are we gonna see it at this, it could be at this, and then I just say, like, news, like, oh, it actually is gonna be at this, um, turns out, not true at all, so now that leads me to believe it's not going to be at Comic-Con and it's not going to be at PSX because they just confirmed, hey, Shock Ta, check your sources because this is not good. Like, this is um, not uh, credible. It's not reliable. It's not a good source. Um, I am so sorry if I misled you guys. I'm trying to find it right now. Um, yeah, right here. <laughs> Shock Ta, it's totally okay. Shocked uh, that you said this and that I'm, if, if I'm in a total, I'm going to say it, asshole or just some total, like some guy who doesn't know what he's talking about. I totally understand. I am so sorry if I misled you guys right here. Anyone who's seen this since it's a big spy channel, please take note. This is no source given. Um, and again, I am so sorry. I, again, I, I don't know how I'm the most subscribed channel besides like seven webheads, but the most subscribed channel regarding Spider-Man PS4. I am here for you guys, just as a fan, as a fellow YouTuber and subscriber of, you know, like, Insomniac Games and, like, all these other, like, you, Shakta, Legit, Spice Scareboy, Thomic Gaming, Spidey Bugle, all you guys I have subscribed to and you mean the world to me. I don't mean to lie to you guys, but again, this video is for me confirming that Insomniac Games confirmed it will not be at PSX and it will not be at New York Comic Con. I will make another video speculating when it will be there, 
or when it will show up next. But until then, I'm so sorry, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize to the bottom of my heart. I am so sorry, everyone. Stay spectacular, everyone.